Hello students, welcome all of you to Guru Gedara English Medium Mass Program. Today our program is based on grade 8. Listen 28 scale diagrams. Then what is the meaning of a scale diagram? A diagram with a scale. Scale is increasing or decreasing the actual measurement of object. Then today we can discuss about scale diagrams through these learning outcomes. By studying this lesson, you will able to identify what a scale diagram is. Calculate the actual lens of a rectilinear plane figure which has been drawn according to a given scale and draw a scale diagram according to a given scale when the actual measurements of a rectilinear plane figure are given. These are the learning outcomes of the scale diagram. Right now we can discuss each topic separately. Now you can see a map. This is an example for a scale diagram. The actual measurement is decreased by this diagram. You can see the distance between uh, Kurunagal and Candy can be represents using centimeters decreasing. Kilometers is converted into centimeters decreasing measurements. Decreasing measurements that is the concept of the scale. Right? This is an example for decreasing actual measurements map. Next one, the floor plan of a house and the 3D view. In this diagram also, you can see a bedroom. You can measure the length and breadth of the bedroom using centimeters. Therefore, these are not the actual measurements. Right? Using meters, you can measure the length and breadth of a room. Therefore, actual length is decreased by this diagram. This is also an example for scale diagram. Right? Living room, master bedroom, bedroom number three. Likewise, all the locations has decreased according to a actual measurements. Then why do we need to draw scale diagrams? Why scale diagrams? What are the advantages of drawing scale diagrams? Now you can see when the actual figure is large, if you have a large figure we can't draw on a paper. You can't draw uh, our country, Sri Lanka, on a paper. Then, without changing the shape, we have to draw the shape of the map. It means in our country, Sri Lanka, there is a certain shape. You can't change that shape in the scale diagram. Then why do we need to draw scale diagrams? When the actual figure is large, we can't draw on a paper, then we can use scale diagrams to draw large plane figures or large figures on a paper, right? That is the application of a scale diagram. Next one. To identify the actual length between two unknown places using the scale. To identify the actual length, if you want to find out the actual length, 
between two unknown places, you can use a scale diagram. If you want to find out the distance between distance between uh, Kurunagal and Kandy, you can measure that distance using centimeters and to find out the actual distance between two cities, you can use the scale, right. Here you can see a map including cities and villages and districts and provincials. Any two points you can consider, then you have to measure the distance between uh, these points using centimeters. After that, you convert that small lengths into large distances using the scale. Why do we need to draw scale diagrams? Microorganisms, micro, very, very small, to observe the nature of a figure which we are unable to observe using the naked eye, right? Using the actual measurements, you cannot identify this shape also. Increasing or decreasing the actual measurements. In this case, you have to increase the actual measurements, right? Very, very small microorganisms, right? Uh, try to understand the concept to observe the nature of a figure which we are unable to observe using the naked eye. To observe the nature of a figure which we are unable to observe using the naked eye. Another example, human hair, yes, 60, very, very small measurement here, very, very small measurement red bl blood, here bacterium, here virus, right? Micrometer, nanometer, very, very small measurements. You cannot see those measurements in your naked eye. These are the advantages of drawing scale diagrams. Now, you can see increasing the actual measurement, right? Here A, here A dash, increasing. This is the main purpose of drawing a scale diagram. Demonstration of dilation with a scale factor of 3, 3 times, right? 3 times with the original plane figure. Here, when a rectilinear plane figure is drawn such that every measurement of length is increased or decreased by the same ratio, increasing ratio or decreasing ratio should be equal, the diagram, the drawn figure is called a scale diagram of the given figure, increasing actual measurements. Yes, amoeba increasing actual measurements. When a rectilinear plane figure is drawn such that every measurement of length is increased or decreased by the same ratio, the drawn figure is called a scale diagram of the given figure, right? Sketch and the scale diagram. Now, actual horse, it is actual horse, height 1.5 meter. The horse drawn by decreasing every measurement by the same ratio, the scale is 1 to 10. What is the meaning of 1 to 10? 
1 centimeter represents 10 centimeter. 1 centimeter represents 10 centimeter. 1 to 10. Here 1.5 meter. You can't draw this horse on a paper. Therefore, you have to use a scale diagram like this. It is often difficult to draw the various objects in the environment according to the actual measurements. In such situation, we use scale diagrams. The shape of a figure in a scale diagram is exactly the same as the shape of the original figure. It means you can't change the shape of the figure. You can't change the shape, right? Without changing the shape, you can draw scale diagrams. Understanding the relationship between units of measure and the evolution of units is important for classifying scales. Look at this well. Understanding the relationship between units of measure and the evaluation of units is important for clarifying scales. Relationship between units centimeter, meter, meter, kilometer likewise. Here 1 meter means 100 centimeter. If you have 1 meter in a scale, you can convert it into 100 centimeters. 1 meter, 100 centimeter. 1 meter, 100 centimeter. Next one, 1 kilometer, 1000 meter. If you want to convert kilometers into meters, you multiply the given amount by 1000. Conversely, if you want to convert meters into kilometers, divide the given amount by 1000. Multiply, dividing. Sketch of the plane figure. The length and breadth of the flow of a rectangular room is 5 meter and 4 meter respectively. Draw the sketch of it. Sketch, no any rules there. Just you can draw the shape including the given measurement 5 meter, 4 meter. Even though the shape is equal as the plane figure, the figure has not been drawn according to the scale. No need to use a scale there. No need to use a scale there. Sketch means without using a scale. Just you can make the shape and you can include the given measurements. Mention the actual measurements mention the actual measurements. In the sketch, you have to mention actual measurements. Meters as meters, right? Not meters as centimeters. Kilometers as kilometers. You can't change the original measurements and the units in a sketch. Now, this is your Sketch, length 5 meter, breadth 4 meter. In a scale diagram, the actual length represented by a unit, length is known as the scale of the diagram. In a scale diagram, the actual length represented by a unit actual length represented by a unit length is called or is known as the scale of the diagram. Scale of a diagram based on a unit length 1 centimeter that is our unit length. 1 centimeter represents 20 meter. 
if you have 2 centimeter represents 20 meter divide both sides by 2 because unit length is need there especially you considering the scale unit length unit means 1 in a scale diagram the actual length represented by a unit length is known as the scale of the diagram this can be expressed as a ratio or as a description there are there are three ways of expressing a scale there are three ways of expressing a scale first one as a description second one as a relation third one as a ratio as a description as a relation as a ratio we can write down the same scale in different ways different ways same scale in different ways as a description as a relation as a ratio suppose 1 centimeter in the scale diagram represents a measurement of half kilometer of the flower bed 1 centimeter is used to represent half kilometers right then we'll see as a description as a description half kilometer is represented by 1 centimeter that is the description by relating the measurements relating the measurements 1 centimeter arrow half kilometer represented means arrow relation relations you know uh, making relations in a level classes also you have relations if you want to represent a relation definitely you have to use an arrow right using arrows you can make or represents relations next one as a ratio as a ratio 1 centimeter represents half kilometer half kilometer how to convert kilometers into meters multiplied by thousand half into thousand is 500 meters then meter should be converted into centimeters 500 500 multiplied by 100 50,000 500 multiplied by 100 50,000 as a ratio 1 is to 50,000 same unit on both sides 1 centimeter represents 50,000 centimeters right without considering the unit 1 double dot 50,000 that is the ratio suppose 2 centimeter in the scale diagram represents a length of 2 meter of the flower bed when writing as a ratio scale ratio length of the scale diagram is to length of the actual diagram scale ratio when writing as a ratio you have to use this format we will see here 1 is to 100 because 1 centimeter represents 1 meter 1 meter means 100 centimeter as a result of that 1 is to 100 the scale as a ratio we can write down the same scale in different ways different ways same scale in different ways in the scale 1 is to 200,000 
200,000 centimeter is represented by 1 centimeter. That is the idea of this scale. 200,000 centimeter is represented by 1 centimeter, decreasing the actual measurement. Since 200,000 centimeters equals 2000 meters dividing by 100. Again, you can divide 2000 by 1000, then you have 2 kilometers. Now, 1 centimeter represents 2 kilometer or the converse case, 2 kilometer is represented by 1 centimeter. We can write down the same scale in different ways. Scale diagram, actual diagram. This is the way 1 is to 200,000. 1 centimeter represents 200,000 centimeters. Then dividing by 100, dividing by 1000. 1 centimeter represents 2 kilometer. Then question number 1 based on a scale diagram. A scale diagram of a land is drawn as follows. 5 meter is represented by 1 centimeter. 1 centimeter means 5 meter. Find the scale. Then scale diagram, actual diagram. In a scale diagram, you have 1 centimeter, actual diagram 5 meter, right? Different units. Then 5 meters, convert it into centimeters, 5 multiplied by 100, 500. Now, you can see same units without considering the same unit, 1 is to 500, 1 is to 500. This is the scale as a ratio. Scale ratio, length of the scale diagram is to length of the actual diagram. 1 is to 500. Scale which 5 meter is represented by 1 centimeter, right? With units can be written as 1 centimeter, 5 meter. Since 5 meter means 5 multiplied by 100, 500 centimeter. Scale ratio can be written as 1 is to 500 without units. The same thing, same thing. Question number 2. A scale diagram of a map is drawn as follows. How to draw the map? According to the given information, you can see 500 meters is represented by 1 centimeter. 500 meters is represented by 1 centimeter. Find the scale. Scale diagram, actual diagram. 1 centimeter, then 500 meter. 1 centimeter, convert this meters into centimeters. 500 multiplied by 100, 1 centimeter, yes, 50,000 centimeter, 50,000 centimeter, 1 is to 50,000. Length of the scale diagram is to length of the actual diagram, 1 is to 50,000, 1 is to 50,000. Now, a third question, right? Very beautiful house and uh, two trees, real estate. A scale diagram of a land is drawn as follows. The condition, 
50 meter is represented by 1 centimeter. Find the scale. Scale diagram, actual diagram. 1 centimeter. Fifty meter, one centimeter convert into centimeters. Fifty multiplied by hundred. One centimeter represents five thousand multiplying by hundred. Five thousand centimeter. Then you can see one is to five thousand. That that is the ratio. That is the ratio. Scale ratio equals length of scale diagram is to length of actual diagram. Now, scale ratio equals length of scale diagram is to length of actual diagram that is 1 is to 5000. As a description, as a ratio. Now, representing a small object by increasing the size, not decreasing, now increasing, increasing the actual size, right. In previous examples, we discussed about how to decrease the actual measurements or lengths according to the scale. Now, representing a small object by increasing the size actual diagram, right, small b, scale diagram, large, the actual length, smaller, this is larger, it means increase in the size, not the shape. Write the scale as a ratio which one centimeter represents 2 millimeter in a scale diagram. Now, 1 centimeter represents 2 millimeter. Then how to do it? Scale diagram, actual diagram. 1 centimeter, yes, 2 millimeters. Then what to do? You convert centimeters into millimeters. You know that 1 centimeter equals 10 millimeters. Then 10 millimeters here same 2 millimeters. Then divide both sides by 2. 5 is to 1. Scale ratio length of scale diagram is to length of actual diagram. 5 is to 1, 5 is to 1. Now, question number 1, calculating the length of the scale diagram when the actual length and the scale is given. Calculate the length of the scale diagram when the actual length and the scale is given. In this case, you have actual length and the scale. We want to find out the length of the scale diagram. We will see. The scale 1 is to 200 indicates a rectangular hole with length 6 meter and breadth 4 meter using the scale diagram. Sketch. This is your sketch, 6 meter, 4 meter. Actual diagram is scale diagram. Actual diagram, 200 centimeter. Scale diagram, 1 centimeter, 200, 1. Actual 1 centimeter means dividing both sides by 200, 1 over 200 centimeters. Then we want to find out 6 meters. 6 meters means 600 centimeters. This amount should be multiplied by 600. This amount also multiplied by 
600. After converting 6 meter into centimeter, 600 centimeter, 1 multiplied by 600 as a result of that 1 over 200 multiplied by 600. Then 6 meters means 3 centimeter. You can draw this line in the scale diagram as 3 centimeter. Next one, calculating the breadth of the scale diagram. The scale 1 is to 200 indicates a rectangular hole width length 6 meter of and breadth of 4 meter using the scale. Right? We want to draw the breadth. We know that 4 meter means 400 centimeter. Actual diagram, scale diagram, this is a pattern, try to get the pattern, actual diagram, scale diagram, because they ask about a scale diagram, no? the format, actual is 200, scale is 1, 200 centimeters, 1 centimeter, then 1 centimeter means 1 over 200 in the scale diagram. Now, 400 centimeter, 1 multiplied by 400 as a result of that, 1 over 200 also multiplied by 400. Then after simplifying, 4 meter represents 2 centimeter. Therefore, in the scale diagram, you can draw this one using how many centimeters? 2 centimeters. 2 centimeters, the length of the scale diagram and the length of the, the length of the scale diagram and the breadth of the scale diagram, length and breadth can be obtained using the scale and the actual measurement of a scale diagram. Drawing the scale diagram when the actual length actual breadth and scale is given, actual length, actual breadth and the scale. Now, we are going to draw scale diagrams using actual measurements. The scale 1 is to 200 indicates a rectangular hole with length 6 meter and breadth 4 meter using the scale we have to draw the scale diagram, right? Then how to draw the scale diagram? If you want to draw the scale diagram, first you have to convert meters into centimeters. Converting meters into centimeters, you can draw the scale diagram. Then uh, the length and the breadth of the scale diagram are 3 centimeter and 2 centimeter respectively. Why is that? Here 2 meter, 1 is to 200, it means 1 centimeter represents 200 centimeter, 200 centimeter means 2 meter, 2 meter by 1 centimeter, 2 meter by 1 centimeter, 6 meter, 2 multiplied by 3, 1 also multiplied by 3, therefore 6 meter means 3 centimeter, got it? Then 4 meter, how to convert 4 meter into centimeters? Here using this scale 1 centimeter means 2 meters, 2 meter means 1, 4, 2 multiplied by 2, 1 multiplied by 2, therefore 4 meter can be represented using 2 centimeters in the scale diagram. Okay? Now, you can use the straight edge. The length and the breadth of the scale diagram are 3 centimeter and 2 centimeter respectively. 3 centimeters, 2 centimeters. The right angle, because this is a rectangle, using the protector and straight edge you can draw the scale diagram. Can you see it? Right? Here, 
3 centimeter, 3 centimeter, then length is 3, breadth is 2. Okay. Opposite sides equal, therefore, this length is equal to this one. Now, the next side completing the diagram. Now, what is the length of the scale diagram? 3 centimeter, what is the breadth? 2 centimeter. Using the mathematical instrument box, it means two instruments they are straight edge and straight edge and protractor, right. Now, question number 2 calculating the length of the scale diagram when the actual length and the scale is given. Page number 143 of your textbook. A sketch of a triangular plot of land is shown in the figure. Sketch diagram. Triangular plot of land. You can see measurements. Sides including the right angle. Sides including the right angle. 6 meter, 8 meter. Here you can see the side opposite to 90 degrees hypotenuse that is 10 meter. Scale 1 centimeter represents 1 meter, 1 centimeter 1 meter, then 8 meter means 8 centimeter, 6 meter means 6 centimeter. 10 meter means 10 centimeter, 1 centimeter, 100 centimeters because 1 centimeter, 1 meter, no? converting meters into centimeters, 1 to 100. 1 to 100, 1 centimeter represents 100 centimeter. Yes, here. 10 meter, 1000 centimeter, 8 meter, 800, 6 meter, 600 centimeter. Using the sketch, we are going to draw the scale diagram. Suppose that is as A, this actual diagram 100, scale 1. 100 centimeter, 1 centimeter, 1 centimeter, 1 over 100 centimeter. Then 1000, we want to draw 10 meters, it means 1000, multiplied by 1000. Now you have 10 centimeters. 10 meter means 10 centimeters. The actual length of 10 meter must be represented by 10 centimeter in the scale diagram. Then 8 meter that is as B actual diagram scale diagram 100 is to 1. Actual 100 centimeter scale 1 centimeter. It means 1 centimeter divided by 100 both sides 1 over 100. 800 centimeter because 8 meter 8 multiplied by 100, 800. Yes, multiplied by 800 then. Page number 143 of your textbook, you can see this one. After converting 800 centimeter means 8 meter, 8 centimeter. Now, you can draw this line as 
10, you can draw this line as 8 centimeter, 8 centimeter. The actual length of 8 meter must be represented by 8 centimeter in the scale diagram. Now, this side, this is the sketch, we want to draw the scale diagram. Before drawing the scale diagram, you have to convert each length into centimeters, right? Then we are going to find out how many centimeters in 6 meters in the actual diagram. Actual diagram is scale diagram. This is the scale 101. 100 centimeter, 1 centimeter, divide by 100, 100 over 101, 1 over 100 centimeters, then multiply this one by 600 centimeters. Why is that? In 6 meters, you can see 600 centimeters. After multiplying, you have 6 centimeters. 6 meter means 6 centimeter. Page number 143 of your textbook, right? You can see this one. See, the actual length of 6 meter must be represented by 6 centimeter in the scale diagram. A, that is C, that is B, actual length, scale length, 10 centimeter, 8 centimeter, 6 centimeter. Instead of 10 meter, you can use 10 centimeter. Instead of 8 meter, you can use 8 centimeter. Instead of 6 meter, you can use 6 centimeter. Can you understand? Before drawing the scale diagram, you have to convert actual length into centimeters using the definition of the ratio. Now, we will see the scale diagram. sketch can you see actual length 1000 centimeter because 10 multiplied by 100 8 multiplied by 100 800 now how to draw the scale diagram, scale length 1 to 200, 5 centimeter, 4 centimeter, 3 centimeter, 1 to 100, 10 centimeter, 8 centimeter, 6 centimeter, 1 to 50, 20 centimeter, 16 centimeter, 12 centimeter. Now, uh, we will see the scale 1 is to 50 can be used if a larger scale diagram is required and for a small scale diagram, the scale 1 is to 100 can be used. Larger scale diagram is required 1 to 50, smaller one. 1 to 100. Right. Question number 2. Find the scale length using the actual length in the sketch diagram. Now, find the scale length using the actual length in the scale diagram. Actual length 
200 meters, 125 meters, 150 meters. We want to find out scale length. If a scale diagram of this plot is to be drawn to the scale 1 is to 2500, find the length of each boundary of this plot in the scale diagram. In your textbook page number 143, if a scale diagram of this plot is to be drawn to the scale 1 is to 2500, find the length of each boundary of this plot in the scale diagram. The same thing, before drawing the scale diagram, we have to find out the scale length which is matching to the actual length. You can match now, scale ratio, length of scale diagram, length of actual diagram, 1 is to 2500. Yes, 2500 is to 1. 2500 centimeter, 1 centimeter. Now divide both sides by 2500. Then 1 centimeter means 1 over 2500. Now we want to find the scale length of 200 meters. Then what to do? 200 multiplied by 100, 20,000. 1 multiplied by 20,000, this amount also multiplied by 20,000. Now you have 200 over 25, 200 over 25, page number 143, 8 centimeter, right? To draw this line, in the scale diagram, you need 8 centimeter. This is how we obtain. Try to understand it, right? Next one, actual diagram, scale diagram, same steps, same steps, no? Same. 2500, 2500 2, is to 1, converting. like this, same thing, 125 meter multiplied by 100. As a result of that calculation, you have this step, this step. Finally, you have 125 centimeter, finally you have 125 meters as 5 centimeter. that is B. Now, we want to find out the scale length of BC, scale length of BC. Same step, this fraction multiplied by 15,000 centimeter, now you have page number 143, 6 centimeter. Okay. Now, according to the given actual lengths, we completed the scale diagram as 8 centimeter, 6 centimeter and 5 centimeter. Then, this is the scale diagram. Now, determining the actual lengths when a scale diagram is given. Page number 145, determining the actual lengths when a scale diagram is given. These are the measurements, these are the measurements of the scale diagram. You can see it centimeters, centimeters, centimeters. These are the measurements of the scale diagram. Now, the scale diagram of a flower bed A, B, C, D drawn to the scale 1 is to 500 is given here. Find the actual lengths of all four sides.
actual diagram, scale diagram. According to the definition, 1 is to 500, it means 1 centimeter represents 500 centimeters. Then you can convert into meters dividing both sides by you can convert centimeters into meters dividing 500 by 100, now 5 meter. Then 1 centimeter represents 5 meter. 1 centimeter means 5 meter. AB, 3 centimeter. 3 means multiplied by 3, multiplied by 3, 15 meters. Then BC, 4 centimeter. 1 multiplied by 4, 5 multiplied by 4, 20 meters. Next one, CD. CD is, you know CD, 5 centimeter. 1 centimeter, 5 meter. 1 multiplied by 5, 5 multiplied by 5, 25 meters. Then AD, 4.5. 1 multiplied by 4.5, 5 also multiplied by 4.5. As a result of that 22.5 meters, AC 5 centimeter, 1 multiplied by 5, 5 meter also multiplied by 5, then 5 multiplied by 5, 25 meters. I stop the lesson from this question. We discussed about scale diagrams, a diagrams drawn on a scale is called a scale diagram. As you know, there are three ways of expressing a scale as a description, as a ratio and as a relation. Ratio concepts are very, very important when solving problems based on ratio. My kids, today we discussed a very important lesson. Next day, I hope to see you with a new lesson. Goodbye to all.